So the journal is one other book of prime entry that is used more often in the business. So the journal is also known as um, it's also known as the general journal in some books, textbooks. So this one is a general book of prime entry. It's different from the other specialized journals that we we have looked at, like the sales journal, the purchase journal. So actually, the journal or the general journal is used to record all those transactions that are not recorded in the in the specialized journals. So which are these transactions? Possibly, let's look at a few examples here. We have opening entries. When you are starting your business, you want to record, uh, you want to open ledgers to start recording or to do bookkeeping, you need to make first entries and the journal is there to do that for you. And it is there to record when assets are bought and disposed of, right, especially on credit. So which means here the, the buyer is not paying cash or when you buy an asset without paying a cash for it. So you can record in the journal. Again, we use the journal for depreciating non-current assets. Yes, it's a book for that. We also use it for making adjustments for provision for doubtful debts, increasing or decreasing. And then we can use this to write off bad debts. Yes, so these are some of the functions. The functions are many depending on the type of business. But uh, in today's illustration or demonstration, um, I'm going to look at how to use the journal to make opening entries. When you are starting a business and you want to use the journal to make opening entries. So I'm going to use this uh, illustration here for Rodent. Rodent opened a retail store on 1 January. So this is our date, 1 January uh, 2019. And he introduced the following into the business. So these are the things that Rodent brought into the business when starting the business. These were some of the assets that he brought in. Inventory, shop fittings, cash, right, of 11,600. But of this cash amount, 11,000 11, was paid into the bank, right, into the business bank account. Okay, fine. Uh, on the same day, same day, which means same day, 1 January 2019, Rodin received a check, sorry, received a loan of 30,000, which was paid into the business bank account again. So it's, it's a lot of transactions that took place on that particular day, but we just want to demonstrate how to re record them in one journal at the same time. So required, prepare a journal entry to include all the above information to open the books of the business on 1 January 2019. A narration is required. So we are going to do two things here. We'll do the journal entries and then we'll do the narration. Okay. Let's use the space below here. Right. Um, I, okay. I've uh, listed my Assets that uh, told, so that uh, Rodin brought in when he started the business. So what happened is these were the assets that were brought in when the business started. And as you know that when we are doing a journal, journal entries, we start with those items that are recorded in the debit column. Right. So in this case, we have shop fittings is an uncurrent asset right of 24000 then the next one is inventory 18500 and then the next one is bank 
let's go to bank a little bit i want you to understand what is happening with bank here remember when Rodent came in on that day he had cash but this cash was split into some cash that was deposited directly into the bank 11,000 and the bank account also received a loan here of 30,000 which means in the bank account on the starting day we have two amounts right we have 11,000 right which was brought by the owner plus 30,000 which is the loan that is deposited into this bank so if you see it amounts to 41,000 this is the amount now in the bank account and again I want you to understand the cash situation at the moment that the cash originally was 11,600 but it 11,000 was deposited into the bank, which means the, in the cash box, only 600 remained on that day. So cash at hand is 600. Okay, fine. So these were the assets that were available on that day. Let's go on to look at, so how much was the capital for, for this? We don't know. But we know that uh, this um, rodent also got a loan from bank so a loan is a liability to the business right now if we add all our assets in this side they should give us like um, 84,100 84, these assets they should give us 84,100 now if 84,100 is the value of all these assets and these assets are coming as a result of the loan plus the capital from the owner so how much is the capital so it's 84 100 minus 30,000 which gives us obviously 54 100 like that so it means now the capital that the owner brought in is 54 100 right so these assets are financed by the capital plus the loan right so the question requires us to make a narration isn't it maybe describing what this is all about so we now say being assets and liabilities that we use to start the business all right by Rodin, right so we know rodent brought assets and some liabilities in the form of loans to start the business and those assets they are constituting part of the capital of the business so that's the narration so i hope you have understood the use of a journal here it's used to make uh, opening entries in books of account like we have done uh, here I hope this is beneficial to you. Don't forget to subscribe for the next uh, illustration that is coming.